Okay, thank you for joining us today. I'm here with Marlies Mickelson. She's an artist here in Dublin. She actually came to Dublin from South Africa through New York, I mean through California, over to Dublin, and I'll let her tell you the story of why she ended up in Dublin. Hi, everybody. My name is Marlies, as, as, as I've been introduced. Um, yes, my, um, I'm from Cape Town, South Africa, a very beautiful land, and um, about three years ago, my son got married. Um, he returned to the States. We'd lived in the States previously. And my son returned and um, married a girl uh, from Dublin, Georgia. And they were living in California. So um, moved to California to be with them. Um, and then they packed up and left back to New York. They're both models, as you know. As I know, yes. <laughs> they married this gorgeous girl <laughs> called, called Jordan <laughs> Hampton. <laughs> And um, they wanted me to move back to New York with them. I've got a great big dog, and I'm not a city person, so um, I was looking for alternatives. I couldn't stay on, on, on the West Coast, and they on the East Coast. I wanted to be closer, and Sean suggested Dublin, Georgia. And I said, what on earth am I going to do in Dublin, Georgia? You know, this one-horse town. <laughs> and um, to cut a long story short, I looked at the housing um, online and I actually bought a house online after looking for two or three days I found this place was just blown away I bought the house online and here I am and you're wonderfully happy aren't you I love it it's the best decision ever what a gorgeous town everybody's so friendly the nature is just exquisite you know to be here on the water to have the golf course on the other side yes very happy well, I've been in Dublin for 23 years now, so it's, 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 I've lived here longer than anywhere else, and I have to say I love Dublin. The okay. people are so nice. Yeah. Uh, you're right, it's a great location, um, and I don't foresee myself leaving either. So, Well, we're here today, and we're going to talk a little bit about your art, because okay. you're a fabulous, fabulous artist, um, and um, I want to kind of get your, ask you your first question is, how did you become an artist? Okay, I, I was always artistic as a child. I was not allowed to do it um, at school. I had to follow the academic route to go to university, you know, math, biology, and all that, that stuff. Um, after school, I didn't go to university. I, I did college. I became a fashion, des um, fashion designer, um, and I was in the fashion industry for many, many years. So uh, a buyer as well, a retail buyer. Traveled the world extensively, very, very busy, high pressure, very interesting job. Um, you know, a lot, lot of travel to Europe and, 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 and Asia, you know, where you're sourcing goods. Never had the time to do art. And then I broke my foot really, really badly one day. And I've got eight screws and a plate in it. And I was later for months and friends came around and brought me canvas and paint from school friends and said, well, Marlies, you always said you wanted to be an artist. Now's, now's your chance. And I was just stunned because, you know, I hadn't picked up a paint since junior school and um, started painting. Went for a few lessons while I was still off work and couldn't really drive. And that was not satisfying. Those were traditional lessons, you know, classic style on, you know, here's a, here's a picture copier type of thing. But I obviously learned technique. And then I just started experimenting. And then... Um, one day, uh, my husband was in construction. He's since passed away. Um, he, he built a very, very large house that we couldn't sell, and we didn't know what to do with it, and we decided to turn it into a guest house that I would run. I was going to give up the, the fashion industry because of the c constant travel. It was just too much. And um, furnished it magnificent, built from scratch, white travertine everywhere, just, just beautiful. And, but I spent so much money on the decor, I had no money left for paintings for the walls. And it was booked out for Christmas. And I had people coming within a few days, and I had nothing to put on the walls. So um, I went and bought eight canvases, and I painted eight paintings all at once, all flat on the garage floor downstairs, and hung them up. And they looked great. I mean, they weren't perfect. People started saying, who is the artist? And started trying to buy my art off the walls. <laughs> That was painting eight paintings in a few days, yeah. and that's, that's how it worked. I had people from all over the world staying in my guest house, and, and I sold paintings off the wall and, you know, rolled them up, sent them off to Croatia, to England, to Germany, to 
So I have paintings everywhere. That's that's how it started. Well, that's you know that's not a bad a bad <laughs> thing to have happen. Is people want to buy your art off the wall? I don't think they want to buy my finger paintings. <laughs> <laughs> now, yeah. I have. I mean, I love art. I, I love different kinds of art. Uh -huh. um, Jordan learned how to paint, and uh -huh. she paints. She I've paints seen a well. painting. Yeah, I love it. She stuff. paints well. I think that she's like you. If she ever stops and has time to do it, she will really enjoy it. Mm -hmm. But. You, I mean, what would you call your style? Because it's it's different. It's I don't think it's like mm -hmm. modern or anything like that. I mean, I don't know if there's if there's a name for it because I'm not I'm not. There, really there good isn't at that. a name, and that's the thing is I didn't really I was not really influenced by anybody or anything. I do what I love doing. I do what feels good. I love texture. I love flow. I love subtle colors and mixtures. There is no name for it. It's it's contemporary. Um, but often you can see landscapes, seascapes, it's very influenced by nature. You know, nature is what drives me, the beauty of this world, the beauty of God is what drives me. And I try and capture it on a canvas. So a well, lot, lot of it is natural inspired. I've seen a lot of your work. And uh -huh. you have a lot hanging throughout your home, which, you know, that's, yeah. that's what I would do. Um, and obviously I've seen pieces that Jordan has, and you've got a couple of pieces up at out of a uh, studio here in town that people want, could go by and look at. and. Um, the piece that you have above your mantle is absolutely perfect above the mantle. The colors and all that, that's in, in the room and the colors that are outside, it just looks so beautiful. Um, I also know that um, you paint using different types of paints. Like I know we have one that's a car, that's used car paint, which I think is, as you said, it was extremely difficult to do. But tell us a little bit about the stuff that you use in your art because I know you use different like, you know, mediums, mediums yes. in it. I started off classic oil paints, oil paintings. They're beautiful. I used Italian oil paints. They're just the finest. And it's all about the pigment, really and truly. And it is about the products that you use. That's very slow, slow process. Then I started using just normal acrylic paints, um, house paints, basically. Not, not, not acrylic art shop paints. Um, and just started experimenting with that. And then layering on top um, the oils, etc. I also use texture, I use cement um, in some of my paintings with, with, with like a, an elastomeric bond. So it's, it's a matter of experimenting and over the years I've changed styles and I've got quite a few different styles. So I, I get bored with one thing. So sometimes I do this style, sometimes I do that style, but what it's called is mixed media basically because I am mixing different materials, etc. And I think you use, um, I, I think I've seen some that have like the gold flakes in them? Yes. I and use, that, it's just be it's yes. beautiful the way that, that, that brings it that's, out. That's part of my signature, I would say, is the metallics. And again, coming from Africa, land of, of, of where gold is mined, I think the biggest gold, gold producer in the world. All those silvers, metallics, I just love them. To me, it's art is like jewelry for the wall. Okay, and I just love it when, when, when the metallics pick up the light and reflect, and they look different in different lights, daylight, morning, afternoon, night lights, and you just walk past and you just get the shimmer. It's never dull. It speaks to you. That's why I love metallics. I just, I just love, love it. Yeah. Right. Well, we're here with Marlies, and we're going to take a short break, and we'll be back in just a minute. Thank you. This is a commission. I often do commissions, and I love doing them, um, that I'm doing for California. Um, I, as I said, I've recently moved from California, so one of my clients over there commissioned me to do this above her bed. So I go into the client's home. I take photographs. I take swatches of the colors that she has, you know, or, or a pillow or anything like that. So I can also show you the pictures that how I work. Um, so like an interior decorator, I've also done custom for hotels, etc. I work with interior decorators. Her colors are this sort of aquas and the turquoise. She's got a gold sort of wall background, so I'm bringing in the gold flints over here. I brought in some of the warmth over there of the beautiful sort of gold copper tones. Again, it's a natural, it's a seascape, landscape, but it's very ethereal. It can be many different things if you have a look at it. This could be beach over there and mountains, etc. That can be the water, but it can be different things to different people. So I should be finished with this one in about two weeks' time, and it's going to California. And then I've got another one for California that I'm working on around the corner over there. 
Right. This is something I did, and, and, and strangely enough, it's the colors of around here. I never really work in these sort of green and earth tones and autumn tones, and I did this before I got there, but I just saw that this one blends in very beautiful with the Georgia countryside with all these sort of natural, natural colors, and it almost to me has like a tornado type feeling you know I don't know if that's a good or bad thing around here I'm petrified of them <laughs> right then something like that um, I don't really work very often in those warm colors but I do enjoy them it's got a lot of golds it's a huge amount of texture I call that one flaming gladioli so it's sort of an abstract floral but not really this over here is just gorgeous gorgeous colors it's a vortex I love feeling as if I'm entering into the painting if I'm sinking down you know as if it has depth and dimension so something like it and then water and, and texture and water and this glints different colors and different times of the day it's it's really beautiful um, and then I'm working on one over here for California again the earth tones um, and it's going to have a lot more. You can see the coppers coming through at the top over there. But I've just, just started this one. So this one's going to be very layered, very, very rich. And, um, yeah, going into a magnificent sort of Southern California desert -y type home. And you can see it has water and desert influence. Hi, I'm Chastity Evans with Community Bank's Loan Department, and I'm here to help you with any personal loans you may need. We help people like you every day. From automobiles, debt consolidation, or real estate, I'm here to help. Call me and let me see how Community Bank can help you. So stop in and see us at Community Bank of Dublin Lawrence County, the bank that service built, where common sense banking never goes out of style. All right, we're back, and the art studio is wonderful. I can't wait to see as, a, as you make your home here how that's going to grow. Um, the Photos are absolutely beautiful. I, I mean, I wish I had some talent like that. But, um, I, you know what? I think I could take any of those paintings down there and put them in my house, and they would go. And it's just like I think anybody here could because of uh, the different colors is in it. There's room somewhere in your house that some of those would go in. Um, now, you, we've talked a little bit about the commissions. Um, so if someone is interested and they want you to do a specific painting for them, they can just go to your website, which we're going to have um, listed for you guys, and they can give you a call or absolutely. email you or whatever oh, and, and yeah. have you come over and mm -hmm. paint, a, paint a one original painting for them. Absolutely. And let me tell you, uh -huh. you never know when what you have in your house is going to be worth a lot of money. <laughs> um, and Thank you, you, Roxanne. I mean, really. <laughs> so um, we're, we were talking about you know, the different lighting and all, and I, I know that you mentioned that you, you wish your lighting was better downstairs, but tell me, I know that when we go to some art galleries, when mm -hmm. we picked out some pictures, it's, it's all about how they have it lit up, and they'll say, see, you can tell how this is, you can see this, and so lighting does play a part in, in, in lighting different... Lighting is crucial. Today it's a dull day, as you know, and because I've just got here, I'm not unfortunately perfectly set up yet, you know, uh, with, with all the right... Um, you know, uh, aids and stuff, um, but it, but it'll come. But lighting is absolutely crucial. That's the artist's best friend. That's what brought me here, and that studio downstairs is what I saw online. Um, it was it was a gaming room or whatever that grill room, or whatever the guys used to use it for for after golf. But it was just it was just a, I know it's a perfect spot for me to paint. So. Um, Love to do commissions. Come to your house. We'll look at your furniture. We'll take photographs. Um, you know, suggestions. I do custom sizes as well. Um, yeah, I'm going to get myself into galleries um, on the coast, you know, in Savannah and, and those areas. So I will be in galleries. I was in galleries in California. So I do both. Um, but I'm, I'm just excited to be here and to share my gift with the world and with, with this part of this beautiful part of the world. Well, that's right. Now you have, you have the West Coast, so mm -hmm. now you have the East Coast, and you'll have people from all over have your paintings in the, in the States now. Um, so here in Dublin, um, you actually have several places that people can are going to be able to see your correct, paintings. Correct, correct. So tell us yeah. about a couple of those. Okay. Um, in the Fred Roberts Hotel in the lobby... A couple of my paintings are going in there. Um, in the salon next door, in Jason Keating, um, I just discussed with him to do two paintings for him 
today. Mm -hmm. um, it'll take me most probably about a month or so to get them in, into the salon, but they'll be in the salon. Then in a Gilda's studio. Um, G-Rhythm. G-Rhythm, perfect, G-Rhythm. I'm going to be hanging up a couple of paintings in G-Rhythm as well. They're going to be more colorful to go with, you know, with young girls in ballet, etc. So they'll have more the pinks and the purples and the blues. The Fred Roberts is going to be more um, silvers, metallics, neutrals, like the decor, very sophisticated sort of art deco furniture. Right. Um, so obviously I'm going to try and fit my paintings into the places that um, they're going to be hanging. They will be available to, be, to purchase. Or if you see something there that you like um, and you need it in a different size or slightly different colors, etc., let me know. Call me. Right. And then uh -huh. I think you also said that um, the library here yes. is interested in putting some in. Correct. The Carnegie Library is mm -hmm. having a, um art art event, large art event, and they've asked me to exhibit. So I'm not sure exactly what the dates are, but that's an honor to be in such a prestigious building. And It is I a beautiful can't, building. Yeah, magnificent. And the Fred Roberts Hotel is a beautiful building. I mean, it's, it's so nice that... Um, downtown is doing as as well as they are of, of renovating and, and keeping the the older aspect of, of a downtown dub. Love it. It has that New York Soho feel. Mm -hmm. I just love it. Love it. It is very yeah. nice. So um, <clears throat> you're also going to be, um, like you said, going into Savannah, maybe Charleston areas, things Correct. like that. Correct. Uh -huh. So if anybody out there, um, if you see something you like, if you go to the website and you see something you like and um, you, she can do gifts, or if you know somebody in another town that might like it, send her send them her way. She'd love to love to have somebody uh, call her and, and commission a few things. Mm -hmm. I can't Absolutely. I can't wait for mine to get ready. Uh -huh. I'm going to be doing one for <laughs> Derek's um, office office mm -hmm. as well. So one of them will also be on on, on, on display over there. So. Right, which which uh -huh. works for mm -hmm. us perfect since we're artistic smiles now. So. <laughs> um, fantastic, it's fantastic. Yeah, um, which mm -hmm. you know was actually our idea. We wanted to to bring in local artists some and. and take them in and out. Oh, right. Um, yeah, yeah. So, so we could uh -huh. have the artistic part of it and also um, help Dublin artists Fantastic. be seen. Well, so, so you'll be uh -huh. one of our first mm -hmm. ones that we get in there, hopefully. Wonderful. Wonderful. Okay. Um, so Marlies, it's been awesome having you on the show today. Um, it's also um, helps that this is, is a family now. <laughs> uh, we are so happy she's moved to Dublin. Um, and you guys, we're going to give you the information. There's some brochures um, that, that you'll see in the location she's going to be at. Uh, we'll give you the website, um, how you can contact her. And please, call her. Come by. She'll, when she's home, I'm sure she'll let you come and see some of the paintings, see if there's something that you want in a different size or smaller, bigger. Um, you can't go wrong. The paintings are, are, ama are amazing. So I, I hope that you enjoy Dublin. And I wish you well, and I know that you're going to do, do great with, with getting the art, the art out here in this area, too. Thank you, Roxanne. It's, it's, as I said, it's just fabulous being here. And thank you, everybody, for making me feel so welcome.